Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this session, we will discuss about data table in UiPath. We will try to address all these questions. How can we create a data table in UiPath? What are the different ways to add data column to data table in UiPath? What are the different ways to add row or data row to a data table in UiPath? How to check if data table is empty or not in UiPath? How to write data table to Excel file? For this, I will create a new workflow using sequence. I will name it as data table demo. So our first step is to create a data table. For that, we will use one activity that is build data table. This activity will create one data table and return as an output to us. For that, we need to create one variable emp table. We will specify type of this variable as data table. Now as an output for this activity build a data table, I will specify name of this variable that is emp table. This is how we can create a data table in UiPath. Now how can we add data columns to a data table in UiPath? For that, there are three different approach. First one is, I will click on this data table. I will remove all these default columns and this row also. Now, I will click on this plus sign. I will add a column emp id I will change its data type integer and click on ok so I have added one data column to this data table now there is another way that is by using add data column activity we will specify our data table over here as in parameter to this activity add data column and here we will specify name of our column that is first name in our case here we will specify type of argument that will be a string Depending on our requirement, we can specify value for all these properties also. Now there is another approach of adding data column to this data table. That is instead of specifying this column name over here, we will create a variable of type data column and we will specify that data column over here. For that, let us create a new variable, new column. We will change its type as data column data column so we will use add data column activity again 
and here we will specify our table emp table and i will specify name of my column that is new column we will specify type of our column that is a string if we are adding a data column by this approach then we won't be able to use all these properties that are available under options now we have added our second column and we need to give a name to this column for that we will use assign activity and we will specify over here emp table dot columns dot item of two means column which is available on second index dot column name so we will specify value for this and here we will specify last name so now we have our table ready along with three columns now we will add data row for this data table for that we will use activity that is add data row as in parameter for this activity we will specify our table name that is emp table now this activity allows us to add a data row with two different approach first one is array row approach using this approach we can directly specify value for our row over here like i will specify my first column value 200 my second column value anil my third column value kumar so i have added one row by using this approach now there is another approach instead of defining value over here as an array row we can create one variable that will be of data type data row we will assign value to that variable and then use add data row activity to add that row to our data table so for that first i will create a new variable emp row i will change its type as data row now i will use one assign activity here i will specify emp row equal to emp emp table dot new row with this syntax we are specifying that this row is a part of emp table or you can consider it as we are providing same structure to this variable emp row 
means this variable emp row will have three different columns emp id first name and last name now we will assign value for all these columns we have three columns emp id first name and last name for that i will use three assign activity so i will specify value for this row here i will specify my column name emp id my value 201 now value for my second column that is first name i will specify one value as vijay now value for my third column that is last name i will specify last name as rao so now our data row is ready we will use add data row activity to add this row to our data table data table add data row we will specify name of our table that is emp table this time we will not specify array row over here instead of that we will specify emp row so this was second approach to add a row to a data table now our data table is ready along with three columns and two rows now if you want to check whether this table is empty or have some data for that we can use if activity i'll use if activity over here here in expression i will specify emp table dot rows dot count equal to zero if this condition is true means our table is empty so we will use one statement that is right line we will specify table is is empty in case this condition is false means table is not empty for that i will specify some text for output panel as table is not empty i will execute this you can notice this output table is not empty now we will check how can we write contents of this data table to excel file we will use one activity that is write range we will use this activity here we will specify name of our file so we will create a new excel file over here we will click on new and this microsoft excel worksheet i will name it as 
emp record so i'll choose this file here i will specify name of my data table one point we need to ensure over here we need to check this property add headers so that headers are added in our excel sheet properly now i will execute this execution is complete let us check the output i will refresh this i will check my excel sheet so we can see emp id first name and last name all these three columns are added to this excel sheet with this i will wind up this session thanks for watching this video please do subscribe my channel for all latest updates